Marvel's Avengers was pitched as a loot to grind for. Repeatable missions, bounties, daily and weekly tasks kind of game, and they are all very much part of this superhero undertaking. However, it is also so much more than that. Crystal Dynamics has shed away from showing off its latest single player campaign prior to launch, and that's a real shame. It is far and away the best thing about Marvel's Avengers. Agreed, the marketing prior to release might not have made it clear, but what the California-based studio decided to do after Rise of the Tomb Raider does indeed feature a narrative-driven campaign. You don't have to dive straight into multiplayer with other players online. You do not need to invest any extra cash beyond the initial outlay to buy the game. You do not need to grind for better gear to see the story through to its conclusion. This is a traditional experience that lets you ignore its online trappings completely until the credits roll. Kamala Khan is the star of the show in this adventure. It might be a story about the Avengers, but Miss Marvel is definitely the main protagonist. After the superhero task force is framed for a devastating attack on San Francisco, Kamala takes it upon herself to reassemble the Avengers and take the fight to AIM, the corporation who benefited from the downfall of Marvel's larger-than-life characters. Khan believes she has found a piece of evidence that proves the Avengers were not complicit in the destruction of San Francisco and will stop at nothing to get it in the right hands. What follows is a 15-hour campaign packed full of the sort of action and quips you would expect out of any typical Marvel movie. Hulk, Iron Man, Black Widow, Thor, and Captain America, of course he isn't dead, all have their moment in the limelight, but the narrative keeps on coming back to Kamala Khan. The instantly lovable character becomes the driving force behind nearly every story beat and the high-octane battles in between. Much like her comic book debut, Miss Marvel stakes her claim for the lead role and never looks back. She's an absolute triumph of a superhero. Better yet, there's a star-studded cast of voice actors on board to support the newcomer. Troy Baker is at the point where any of the characters he plays sounds exactly like him, but he does do a good job of fulfilling the bumbling role of Bruce Banner. Nolan North, meanwhile, captures the witty, stuck-up persona of Tony Stark to a T. Although these personalities might be the reason you were on board with Marvel's Avengers from the very beginning, it's the combat that will have you coming back for more. Each of the six characters play differently from one another, and along with three different skill trees for each, you can customize them to fulfill a variety of different roles. Everyone covers the basic light, heavy, and range attacks to quickly turn this into a third-person brawler, but there's hardly any button mashing to be had. Combos can be struck up at a moment's notice, take downs leave most enemies for dead, and both support and damage-minded abilities leave behind a wasteland of destruction. There's a genuinely deep set of mechanics to explore here, both on a surface level in the pursuit of quickfire action and the ability to personalize your chosen superhero's build. What might be even more impressive though is that Crystal Dynamics really has managed to make the six superheroes feel and play differently from one another. Iron Man can take to the skies and rain terror down from above with repulsors. Black Widow is a silent assassin with the Veil of Shadows ability that turns her and anyone nearby invisible, and Hulk plays the classic role of the tank. Kamala Khan, Thor, and Captain America all feel like they fit somewhere in between these three extremes, but there's enough nuance to ensure they don't all play the same. Enemy variety isn't so up to par, however. The forces of AIM largely consist of robots that lack the brain power to do much more than run at your mighty fists and meet their demise. Some come equipped with shields, while others pin their hopes of safety on jetpacks, but their attacks remain much the same. It can make combat feel a little mindless sometimes, relying on the player to bring about some creativity. Even the boss fights are few and far between that are there are particularly impressive, especially in the final few hours of the campaign. However, given the comic book universe Crystal Dynamics has at its fingertips, it is surprising to see so few of its villains realized in the video game form. Outside of brawling, Marvel's Avengers even channels its developers' previous efforts with set pieces that wouldn't look out of place in the rebooted Tomb Raider franchise. You will find yourself making great leaps as Kamala Khan, wall running as Captain America, and kicking Iron Man's suit into overdrive to be an in-game title. These moments are a welcome break from combat, despite how enjoyable it may be. 
and then the credits roll. This is the point where many players will lose interest in Marvel's Avengers, but even those looking for a replacement to Destiny 2 might not find what they are looking for. The in-game content that is available at launch is lacking beyond belief, simply put. A couple of new mission chains do open up to begin with, some even with their own unique cutscenes except they simply serve to reinforce the fact that you will essentially be repeating content from here on out. Clones of previous boss fights serve as daily quests. Warzone missions use the exact same interiors and environments from mainline assignments and objectives become stale the more time you put into the game. Even the more open-ended levels with optional tasks to complete are recycled over and over again. It gets to the point where quests send you to the exact same place multiple times, but try to disguise it as a different location entirely despite reused assets and environments. Now this is nothing new for these types of experiences. However, never has it been so blatantly obvious. Stripped of its narrative stakes and engaging dialogue, the gameplay of Marvel's Avengers relies on its combat so heavily that you start to see it crack under pressure. As good as those fights are, the game is going to need something more if it hopes to retain a player base months after launch. It feels like the world has moved on from repeating the same levels over and over again for an insignificant statistical upgrade to your character. We mentioned stats because the loot you are picking up has absolutely no effect on the way your superhero looks. It's a baffling decision because it strips the loot system of any creativity, instead limiting it to the minor boost items come with. As such, equipping a new exotic piece is completely unexciting as it claims to affect what's under the hood rather than decals visible to the human eye. It doesn't have anything even remotely close to Destiny's Galahorn moment, and the only way you can unlock new skins revolve around luck, grinding, and microtransactions. The game's equivalent of a battle pass hands out outfits for free, but you're limited by how much progress you can make each day. Meanwhile, the in-game marketplace sells legendary skins for roughly $15 or £10 a piece. What we can say is that cosmetic customization is not one of the title's strong points. And so we find ourselves in the same position that so many games have been in before. The end game of Marvel's Avengers is lacking at launch. But with the promise of long-term support, it could look completely different in a year's time. Multiple superheroes have already been confirmed to be free additions down the line with even more expected after that. We don't know what the Crystal Dynamics project will look like this time next year. But at the point where you are being asked to make the initial investment and buy the game, it doesn't live up to the expectations. One thing the developer will absolutely have to address, however, is the game's shocking frame rate. It targets 30 frames per second but rarely achieves it in combat scenarios as the screen becomes littered with action, enemies, and debris. The PS4 Pro doesn't seem to be able to keep up with what Marvel's Avengers is putting out, forcing the frame rate to plummet into the teens on a worryingly regular basis. If anything, the upcoming PlayStation 5 version should do wonders for the title. So in conclusion, Marvel's Avengers least advertised aspect turns out to be its greatest asset, and it's exactly what hardcore fans were craving the most. The story and everything that comes with it is a real highlight, allowing the exceptional Kamala Khan to take the lead and bring with her enjoyable combat systems and fun parkour. The shocking frame rate along with bugs and glitches should be fixed in the near future but it's what the game has you do after the credits roll that quickly becomes its biggest downfall. Marvel's Avengers has a single player campaign that thoroughly excites, surprises, and delights. What follows brings it crashing back down to earth. In saying that though, we still feel that with development post launch, the game could be great and still more than deserves a developing rating of six out of 10.